going on everybody today we are going over alibaba stock uh, ticker symbol baba we're gonna find a couple of things number one i'm gonna find the fair value of alibaba stock according to warren buffett as mentioned in the book the intelligent investor uh, written by benjamin graham is mentor and we will find the price that mr warren buffett will actually be a buyer we will also go over the financial we're gonna read financial statements for beginner so you can actually know what to look for and when you are evaluating a stock either alibaba or whatever stock that you want to either purchase or all the purchase for beginners super simple financial statements gonna read let's get started with alibaba this is an excel that i made it's called how to value a stock like warren buffett we got company name alibaba and we need to find a couple of things which we will find in yao finance earning per share and growth and after that we're gonna find the triple a bond yield our current stock price today is around 257 bucks was 300 bucks uh, like a month ago and then they did the ant ipo and uh, it didn't work out they didn't go public so the stock got hammered almost 20 percent since then let's see if it's a buying opportunity according to warren buffett so let's go to yaofin yao finance there's a couple of things that i'm looking here alibaba that's the stock 257 look at this first of all the 52 range was 170 to 320 so we are down like 25 percent from the 52 year high uh but this is something that caught my eye guy look at this fair value according to the analysts in uh in in yao yao analyst not uh, warren buffett 45 percent estimate return from here super undervalued super undervalued 45 percent return which will put the stock at around uh, let's say 380 370 380 that's uh interesting let's see what we got we got a market cap of 700 billion this could be the first chinese company to make uh to reach the trillion dollar uh, level why not the number that i'm looking for uh earning per share nine dollar and 31 cents that's pretty good also one year target is almost 80 point 80 bucks from here I guess it's like 30 40 percent yeah so if everyone are saying that we'll see what mr buffett has to say about that's pretty interesting next earning is in february nothing to worry about now maybe it's a buying opportunity i'm gonna check it out let's see and we got ourselves a pe ratio of 27 that's uh very healthy compared to 1000 uh, plus tesla 500 zoom 27 is not bad at all that means that if alibaba doesn't grow at all and we're gonna check uh, earnings and financial and all that good stuff they doesn't if they don't grow at all then it's gonna take you 27 years uh to actually uh, double your money as uh, simple as that tesla will take you 1100 years to double your money if tesla will not grow uh something to think about what we need this number earning per share etm eps ttm nine dollar and 31 that's a good number and the other number is in this uh, analysis tab so we're gonna go here i mean here growth estimate i'm looking for this number next five years growth per annual uh 3.8 percent growth the last five years they grew at about 30 percent so they're getting pretty mature i think 3.8 is pretty uh small gonna put this number but uh, you know we'll see next year is 20 percent current year is 36 percent next quarter 55 percent this quarter 80 percent down i don't think it's three percent i might do an average i'm gonna put 383 but if this is gonna get me like a super low number i'm gonna average the 30 20 36 and 55 something like that uh yeah so i'm gonna we'll see we'll see what we see at the end so let's go put those numbers in the excel and move on after that is gone out of our way let's go over financial i'm here back in your finance and click financials we're gonna read financial statements for alibaba just like mr warren buffett read financial statements as part one of his whole uh you know uh <laughs> how to buy a stock forever we got a couple of items income statement balance sheet cash flow let's go over what we need to see that is healthy and all the ratios that mr bowen buffett looks like uh so let's get started with this one total revenue 
uh, at a glance at uh, first at a glance i'm just wanted to grow looking at here 2017 158 billion a year after that 250 billion they grew by 100 billion that's pretty awesome a year after that 376 another 125 billion and a year after that another 100 uh, 125 billion to 500 half a trillion dollar and so far in the last 12 months they made almost uh 600 trillion grow and grow and grow that's what you want to see that's pretty awesome and the ratio that you're looking for is the gross profit how much gross they make and then you're gonna look for the net income let's look for the gross uh, ratio so we're gonna take our calculator Put my calculator out i'm putting this number 253 253 263 and i'm dividing that by 584 580 which is the total revenue right here and mr buffett would like to see a 40 percent gross and up 40 percent gross that's a good sign so let's click enter and uh, that's uh, pretty awesome uh, 43 percent apple is uh, 38 let's not uh, forget that i'll mention apple at the end of this video i'll link a video so you can see the fair value of apple you will pre you will be pretty surprised 43 percent gross I, I like that warren buffett likes that as well maybe it's uh we'll see if all the check mark um, makes sense and maybe we'll get a buy next item on our list same thing income statement you go uh down to this number diluted ni available for common stockholders that's the net income they made a net income of 131 billion in the last uh, trailing 12 months see that it grows 43 billion net 63 billion net 87 billion net 150 and 130 in the last 12 months with corona that's healthy growing company that's uh, the look at this jump from 87 to 150 they they added another 75 billion net after making like extra 100 uh, billion gross so that's they're making a lot of net from that gross so we're gonna divide this number again 131 the net 131 seven, eight, three. divided it yet again in the gross in the total revenue in the total revenue in the first one which is five eight four five eighty and buffett would like to see a 20 percent and up number meaning 20 percent net he wants to see 40 percent gross we got 43 20 percent net let's see 22 and a half per person up, up, up. sorry let's <laughs> let's recap 22.5 okay so we got 22.5 0.225 times 100 22.5 percent net 43 percent gross 22 percent net check mark and check mark in warren buffett's book that's uh pretty awesome you know i like uh alibaba better at uh, 250 better than uh, 320 or 300 let's go over to that's what you need to do in the income statement read if you want to read and then go deep on each and every one of those sectors go ahead i'm just looking at the glance revenue grew a lot uh 40 percent gross 20 percent net buffett is a happy camper let's move on to uh i'm in the balance sheet again looking first of all at a glance look at this total assets 500 uh, billion uh 2017 700 billion 2018 they grew by 200 billion a year 965 billion last year 2019 and look at this 1.3 trillion dollars uh in 2020 the year ends at the end of march that's another four they grow by 200 billion 200 billion 200 billion 400 billion i'm thinking about adding alibaba to my forever store it's like amazon uh, in china that that's let, let's keep checking the check marks that we need i'm looking oh not me mr buffett is looking i'm looking for the same thing is for this total liabilities long term uh you click open total liabilities current is uh everyday payment total non-corn that's what i'm focusing specifically this one long term debt there we go that's the number uh let's combine 120 plus 19 which is 140 140 billion debt let's see what they had so far 76 120 and then the, the down to 111 then back to four so they added i don't know, like 30 billion in long-term debt 
but they made 400 billion in uh, in total assets it's great that's just great i would like mr buffett as well would like to see that they can pay their long-term debt 140 billion in four years or less how are we going to get this number we're going to go back to the net income that we found and just divide those numbers in the calculator and see what we see so let's go so i'm dividing the total long-term debt 139 billion in this number uh diluted net income 131 131 billion okay let's click 131783 and mr warren buffett would like to see a number of uh, four and below meaning that uh the company can pay the long-term debt in four years or less so let's click enter one <laughs> they can pay all their long-term debt in a year in a year and like a week uh, that's crazy that's amazing company that's another check mark i don't know how to do uh, uh, effects or stuff like that but i bring you value guys so instead of uh you know looking for all uh well, what's the next neo is neo gonna go to the moon hit the link hit the like uh subscribe bell notification if i bring you value i want to mention like a side note something that you need to consider this is not a financial advice with that being said if you're at the age of i don't know 25 to 55 or anywhere from 30 50 something like that do not think that your goal is to make a million bucks by buying tesla calls or neo calls or helion or all that stuff your goal is to buy st stocks stock in a company that will be here when you will retire and sure i understand you're you want to retire next year in five years from now i understand that but in reality aim to to have a portfolio that will generate you income 20 30 40 and 50 years from now dividends uh sell covered calls sell uh, cash secured put this is a great price 250 bucks we're we gonna find the fair value but if everything checks out alibaba is going to be in my forever stock just like it should be in warren buffett's forever stock we're gonna find a couple of other things but this is good they can pay the long-term debt in a year how crazy is that bank of america that you i post the video that you can see yesterday it's gonna take them 13 years there's some and this is profitable companies if you look at neo and palantir they're not profitable sure they might be profitable most likely in uh two years three years five years who knows but this is a car, profitable company that break the gross uh, profit of like uh, i don't know like they make like 100 to 400 billion a year that's insane that's like amazon level amazon of china well if you like amazon why why don't you like alibaba that's my question to you do not aim to become rich aim to become wealthy by investing in stocks that you think and you find their fair value that will be here once you will retire 10 20 30 40 years from now and whenever that you have 100 shares of aim to have at least 100 shares of uh, those forever stocks start selling covered call uh, put and, and and generate more income unless if they bring if they pay you dividend that's great if not uh, it doesn't matter if they do or they don't just add extra by selling options let's move on to the cash flow is that's what we're looking to find I'm in the cash flow statement and i'm looking for a couple of things first of all operating cash flow uh the most important number in my opinion in this uh, cash flow statement the money that they're making for uh their core operation they make uh let's see they made 80 billion 2017 then they went up to 125 then to 150 all in billions then to 180 and then the last 12 months 200 billion so they're making and making and making money from their actual business they're not making money by refinancing a loan and have a cheaper rate no they're making money from their business it's a great thing to see after that i'd like to see a negative number in this one investing cash flow you can see investing investing cash flow uh 200 billion that's investing back in the company either expanding products leasing i don't know everything that you need to invest in order to grow the company nothing to do with the shareholders buyback dividends that's nothing to do with that 
They're investing back in the company and they jump from a hundred billion investment to 200 billion. So they're still expanding. This is a very good company. They're still expanding. They're not done yet, uh, not by any means. That's good. Next item on our list is finance cash, cash flow. I see a positive number of plus 70. I, ideally, I'd like to see a minus 70, a minus number. And when you click open, you know, there's no there's no details. Everything is like blank, blank, blank. I think that's why uh, the US government and all the regulation wants to see uh, legit auditors from the US on Chinese companies. Because I don't know where that money went from. I don't know if they uh, issue more stocks and diluted Alibaba stock. They didn't pay dividend. I know for, uh, that's uh, for sure. Or maybe they did a buyback. Nobody knows because it's not audited. And that's, uh, you know, the Chinese companies needs to get uh, audited the way that the US companies gets audited. So we don't know where that money came from. Nonetheless, that's, uh, you know, that it is what it is. It doesn't say repayment of debt. It doesn't say issue of debt. <laughs> it doesn't say issue more stocks and it doesn't say repurchase like buyback stock nothing happened next ratio that i'm looking for since i don't have the trailing uh, 12 months i can take this one capital expenditure uh, which is this number i'm gonna put it right here uh 45 386 and i'm dividing this again in the net income i'm trying to see how the management is spending money is it efficiently or is it poorly and ideally we would like to see a number of 25 percent and below if the number is below 25 percent the, the management is expanding great uh doing buybacks doing good stuff taking cheap debt to expand instead of bad debt and all that good stuff if it's below 25 percent 25 to 50 is around average and anything over 50 percent the management doesn't really spend their money wisely so we're gonna go back to uh, income statement right here and divide by diluted uh, net income available 131.783 and I'd like to see Mr. Buffett 25% and below let's click enter 34% okay so it's it's a little I, B minus <laughs> B minus and again we don't know what they spend on because there's no audit that's fine that's fine all the other stuff checks out i really love the fact that they can pay all their long-term debt in a year in one year that's insane buffett is saying four years is crazy one year uh, apple can do it in two months but that's a different story or two days something or two weeks something crazy like that a year can pay the long-term debt in a year let's go find the fair value of alibaba stock yeah com according to mr Buffett. i'm back in the excel alibaba and i found the triple a corporate bond yield of 4.5 percent for alibaba and basically once i hit enter we're gonna find two numbers the fair value of that alibaba needs to trade it today as of today and the price that mr warren buffett will be a buyer which gives you a margin of safety of 33 percent and before we do that guys let me introduce myself my name is ziv also known as finance after 40 while i am new to youtube you can find me on tiktok where i have over 15,000 community members following me as well as patreon in the description below where you can also find this uh, specific excel uh, just put any company that you like as long as they're profitable the earning per share needs to be positive all those new ipos their earning per share is a negative that's a different formula which i will also do and put in patreon uh takes you 10 bucks a month to join about 150 members uh, there as well all link in the description below without further ado guys let's find the fair value of alibaba stock Dum da da dum da 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 dum. Double, four hundred and fifty bucks. Four hundred and fifty bucks. We are at two fifty now. According, remember when I in the first uh, of the video I said it's uh, the Yao finance analyst said it's like three eighty. Well, according to Buffett, it's four fifty, and the price that Buffett will be a buyer is around three hundred bucks. And we are at like 200, 250. That's a buy. That's a long-term buy. This is going to be 
uh, <laughs> just in my opinion, the first Chinese company to break a uh, one trillion dollar uh, and and join uh, you know Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, and Google. They're gonna be number five. Go check my uh, Apple video. Go check my Berkshire Hathaway video. And if I bring you guys any sort of value, do a couple of things for me. If you will, click subscribe to join my channel. Uh, if I bring you value, of course, hit that bell notification so you won't miss videos that I post. And also leave a comment below which stock would you like me to uh, analyze next. Please do not say Tesla. I will do Tesla. It's in my to-do list for this uh, coming uh, holiday season. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, Alibaba at 250 It's pretty awesome price that Buffett is buying. It's 300 I'm a buyer. If that IPO, that the end IPO would be successful, they would be probably at like 350 plus. That IPO failed and then they went down 25%. Something to think about and that this is uh, could be a buying opportunity long term, not for next week options, long term, 20, 30, 40 years from now. Thank you guys very much and I will see you in the next video. Yeah.